Alright, we are through security and we are ready to rock here at Intensity Music Festival right here in Craiova, Romania. So both Ivana and I have our bracelets on, which have this chip in them, which is the only way to pay for anything in the whole festival. So lucky for us, we came yesterday, which was Friday, and we charged up some money on our bracelets because it seems like today, Saturday, the lineup to put money on your bracelet is more than an hour. So lucky for us, we are ready to rock. Now, right in front of me here is the main stage, which is in the football stadium, and we'll take you there in a minute. But I think they've done a pretty good job laying everything out and organizing everything inside the stadium. It's a really good atmosphere. But first things first, I gotta tell you my first impression, which is I am pleasantly surprised with the age range of the crowd in this place. It's pretty family friendly. I sort of maybe naively thought I would be the oldest and lamest person here. I've definitely seen some older people than me, although I still might be the lamest, let's be honest. Uh, but yesterday on the main stage, we saw Gods of Rock, who are playing 1970s, 1980s, rock and roll, ACDC, and Rolling Stones, and all of the classics. And right after them, we saw Snap, who for me stole the show and were the absolute best performance of the night. They're doing what's called Hip House from the 90s, which is like hip hop on house music. They had great stage presence and live performance. Is anybody crazy? And right after them came a Brazilian lady in full gear from Carnival. The spirit of Rio de Janeiro was alive and well in her performance. And so my point is three different genres, three different decades, sort of something for everyone and probably indicative of the uh, wide audience that's here today. So before we jump inside the stadium here and show you everything, maybe we'll take a tour of the outdoor facilities, have a drink and see what's going on. Hopefully you guys can hear me. It's a loud environment. All right, let's check the outside out and maybe the uh, secondary stage. All right, so the secondary stage is in this building here, right beside the main stage, not too far away. I guess this place is the basketball court. What is my guess? It looks and like it. I think I the think show so. is about to start, so let's go. All right, so as it turns out, the secondary stage is the nightclub aspects. Yeah. My ears are ringing. So let's go check out the main stage where it's uh, open air stadium. It's for me the right way to consume live music, kind of outdoor show. Yes, yes. Let's go. In here it feels like a high school dance <laughs> in the gym. But I don't want to be rude. I didn't say anything. <laughs> it feels like a high school dance. It's right, Ivana. <laughs> All right, the sun is going down, which means the party is about to start so let's look at the main stage here the entire white area is where the grass would be normally yes. it sort of looks like a hockey arena yeah shout out to canada but i love the way they've got the main stage gigantic screens and all the speakers are down there so where ivana and i are sitting now is pretty family friendly and you can actually hold the conversation over here because all the speakers are down there although last night when we were down there we really experienced the intensity because the dance floor is very lively <laughs> Now in terms of accessibility, there's four places to buy beer on the ground level and beer is 12 lei. Not bad. Not bad. 12 lei is manageable price. I was thinking 20 or 25 lei would be my guess. And they're very smart to have built these staircases on top of the seats so you can get in and out right from the ground floor very easily. Overall, it's a really, really good venue and I love the fact that it's open air above because music just sounds better outdoors, if you ask me. I especially like the small screen over there that shows you what's happening on the other stage, which Ivana described as a <laughs> high school party. Speaking of which, I feel like this area is sort of like where the parents sit to watch the kids party. Sort That's of right. convenient, right? Yes. If we had teenagers who wanted to party, let them party and you sit up here and watch them. 
Sure, it's side of a nice area. There's kiddos around. This is a family friendly environment. And down there is the wild party party environment. Yeah. Sort of love this venue to be honest. Uh, with that being said, next up is Subcarpazzi. Yes, you can see on the screen. Next, coming up. Subcarpazzi, mm -hmm. who's a Romanian guy. Yes. I don't know what he's singing about because he's singing <laughs> Romanian, but I've heard the music and it sounds great. Yeah. So for that, we're going to go down in the uh, in the intensity, as it were. All right. So let's uh, finish our beer and go hit the dance floor. Let's go. Or the beer. Sarawak World Music Festival. Sukar Patsy should be the headliner. Yes. Right? Yes. Play traditional flute, traditional horn. Sounds like another them. Can you jump? Sukar. Was it just spot? Sukar. And go down to the stadium. See who's at the stadium. Sukar. Hi, sir. I'm Pan Karela. You are Emil Kulesko. Hi, boy. sure if they're gonna come back for one more but yo that lead singer he strikes me as one of those guys who's super brilliant and also super unique he's wearing an outfit that looks like part of it is a doctor's scrubs and part of it is like shower kameez in Pakistan and he's totally barefoot on stage with the braids in the back doing the flute rapping his butt off and then singing it's like an amazing performance you know you like his style? I like his style it's super unique he strikes me as like a brilliant guy who is like what's going on in his head is very special you know yeah, he makes traditional and modern rock, hip hop, everything. He's got almost like his own genre of music. Yes. That's just them, you know? Yes. Very special. And, and the crowd loved it. When he said clap, they clapped. When he said hands up, hands went up. Yeah. He's got the whole crowd in the palm of his hand, you know? And we don't understand what he's saying. I don't know he's one word. Romanian, but, but he's killing it. Yes. I'm doing he's going super fat. I'm doing it too, you know? Yes. It's like, a, it's like a hypnotism, you know? Right, right. Everyone's right. involved. Uh, heck of a show. Yeah. And, and then, right on cue, it just started raining. It started raining. On his last song, it started raining. Like, it's from a movie or yes. something. So we're going to get out of here. Yeah, Thanks for they're watching. packing up. Next one is uh, from, I think, Turkey. Turkish guy. Mahmoud. Who's a, evidently very popular, but I never yes. heard of him. Mahmoud Orhan. I think people are going to come out for him, too. For I him? guess in a festival like this, you can't do an encore. Uh, it's like I would have oh, done it, I think. Timing. Yes, because yes, it's, it's right. all time slotted. And but, I guess uh, the big guest tonight is Tiesto. Tiesto tonight. I don't think we'll make it that far. <laughs> we might go home now. Thank you. Awesome. Good way to end the video. Yes. <laughs> that was like on cue. Oh, now the rain is starting <laughs> to and come the down. Coming. Okay. Fantastic. All right. Later, everybody. Amazing. Yo, Steve. Steve. Subcarpat, it kind of reminds me of kind of like Kid Rock, like his style of music with a Romanian twist. That's right. <laughs>
<laughs> rap, rock, country. In this case, it's like folk music. Yeah. Subkarpati is like Romanian kid rock, sort of. Well, I like that. I like it's that. It's different. No, it's right. It's right. It's different. <laughs> totally unique. Yeah, totally unique. Yeah. Amazing. Good one. Good one. Love it.